So this is the best way to set up Google Ads. I'm gonna show you guys three best things that you need to get everything set up from tracking, the ad groups, and actually setting up the ad. And once you get this set up, you'll be good to run and start getting conversions. If you don't know a little bit about me, we help cleaning businesses grow with Google Ads and AI ecosystems. This was one of our clients actually this past week from Sunday, the June 15th to uh, Thursday, which is June 19th, and they closed almost 2100 bucks or $2,200 almost, $2,190.75, and they spent $293 in Google Ads, 16 qualified leads, 90 bookings, and it's only Thursday, right? So this is amazing, and if you actually like think about the week, to get 16 conversions at $18 each, this, this is unheard of, but this is on the low end. Once it obviously evens out within 30 days, it's a little bit higher but this is great results, one great week for this client, cool? So this is what we do. We have a lot of different uh, testimonies, like this is a client that just started a brand new uh, Google Ads account, Google My Business, they had zero views. We spent $82 in one week for them, the first week of just launching, and they closed over almost 1,500 bucks in bookings that week. This is a client where they have over 100, they're a big cleaning business, they have I think almost 200 uh, clean recurring cleans, and we spent, uh, 1.8K, 29 conversions, and they closed about 14 or 15 of those conversions. They did over 3,500 bucks in sales in uh, the first three weeks of, of running these ads for just Google Ads, right? And then I have a client that found us here on YouTube where it says also Google, uh, Google Ads look like they're up and running, got a booking off today, I believe. How do we go about tracking it? So this is somebody that within one, uh, one day, less than 24 hours, we're able to close this uh, client uh, a, a booking the first with of just getting the ad set so this is how to set everything up i just want to show you guys a handful of the many many uh, different results that we're getting for clients and how to actually walk you guys through this here on this video so the first thing that i want you guys to get set up is the tracking okay so this is actually live for a client that we just started um, we're just getting it set up but what you want to do is you want to create conversion action here so you go to goals summary and then create conversion action and I'm gonna click on the one that's actually live just to show you guys. I'll hit edit settings. When you get in, it'll give you all these. So we name it, uh, the action that we want is to submit lead form. The value is a dollar. So you, you actually click here, right? One conversion, we want one conversion every time it, it comes in. And then we want 33, one. And then attribution recently, we've been doing data driven. I know it's the recommended one. Before it used to be last click. Now it's da data driven. And I think that's good, for, especially if you're just getting started, getting going. And then enhanced, yeah, I just wanna hit that, make sure it's good, and then you wanna hit done. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys how to set up this tag on Go High Level and what that looks like. So I'm gonna hit right here, install the tag yourself. And I'm gonna actually blur this out because I wanna make sure that our client's stuff doesn't get leaked. So here it is, the Google tags, and then the conversion event and how to do it. So there's two parts. There's the Google tag, which we're gonna be putting on every page, and then there's the event snippet. You notice here that I do it for page load because we want it to load on the thank you page. You notice it's gonna be page load and then here is the actual tag that we're gonna add on the page. So let me show you guys how we install this on uh, Go High Level. So we're here on Go High Level and you're gonna notice that this is just a two step, okay? Two steps of funnel which is the landing page, the actual form that we send traffic to from Google Ads and then there's an actual thank you page. Um, so what we wanna first do is we saved that first G tag, and then we're gonna go here to settings. So I'm gonna to go to settings, and then we wanna do it right here, add tracking code, boom. Okay, so we add that, and then you're gonna hit save right here. Once you do that, you add it to tracking code. I'm gonna go back to steps, I'm gonna hit edit, and we're gonna add the same G tag on both, uh, both pages. The opt-in landing page, which is right here, I'm gonna hit tracking code, and then what you wanna do is you wanna add that here, boom. And then you want it safe, okay? Once we save that, we're gonna go back and then we're gonna add it onto uh, the thank you page here. So I'm gonna go to thank you, I'm gonna hit edit, and then I'm gonna go to the same thing, tracking code up here on the left. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that, boom. Once that's added, I'm gonna go right here back to the page to get the event snippet code. Okay, so we're at the event snippet. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Again, you wanna make sure it's page load. And then we're gonna go back. And then I'm here on the tracking on the thank you page. And you only wanna add this on the thank you page. So we just added it on the thank you page and then you're gonna to wanna to hit, hit save. So as, as 
as long as this thing loads and Google tracks it, that it, it, they hit this exact thank you page, it's gonna convert as a conversion. And then you obviously wanna test it. I have a full video actually going click by click, step by step. I'll link that in the description if you guys wanna see that. But I just wanna show you guys the importance of being able to make sure that you have the right code and everything is placed correctly for a go high level account. Okay, so the second part is we wanna make sure that we have the correct keywords and ad groups. And I actually have a GDoc right here and I'll show you guys uh, what that looks like. So I have this step-by-step -step GDoc. I share this with people in our community. And if you want this, I'll just let you guys go ahead, take a snapshot. For a lot of you guys that wanna see this for free, you guys can see this, this is creating a campaign. So this is just a quick step-by-step -step, uh, setup. And then here's some simple keywords, just showing you guys some examples of what we put in. And then this is the actual ad. So I have an updated version where I update this on a month-to-month -month basis for people in our community. Uh, but yeah, because there's always things shifting and changing, right? But this is good just to set up. I've converted a lot of clients through this. So I just wanted to give you guys this. And we kind of go through every single piece. So you'll notice in the ad side, we want to have the final URL. Do you have that? The display path, headlines, descriptions, images, business name and logos, site links, call outs, right? And then structured snippet. So all these, you just need all these set up. And again, if you guys wanna just pause and take this, I actually have a video teaching you guys a step-by-step, click-by-click on how to set all this up. So I'll set that in the description below and you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, but just so you guys can see, and then you see this conversion event, this is exactly what we did. So this is a step-by-step -step for every conversion event that I, I showed you guys. So we're in the ad group and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly just paste this. So this is like the first general. So you go in, I'm gonna put this and then I make sure I set up these ad groups correctly, right? And there's a difference between broad, exact, phrase matches. You get, there's a lot of uh, info on how to do that. You want to make sure you put the you you name this correctly. So let's just, let's just say it's like house cleaners, right? And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna walk you guys through all this. So here we are at the ad side, and I just want to show you guys real quick. Again, I have the whole G doc here and a step by step on how to do it. But if you go in, you'll see everything. Final URL, you'll see the display path here, uh, the headlines that are provided, and you keep going in descriptions, images, and you just go down. So all you gotta really know is once you guys have this, and I'll show you guys again, right here, just take a picture. You guys can use all this, put all the headlines up, descriptions, images, business name and logos, site links. And I actually have a video on how to do these site links step-by-step. Again, I'll link that step-by-step step for you guys. You guys can watch it. The callouts, structure snippet, and that's all you really need to get this set up. Okay, so we talked about tracking, ad groups, uh, make sure you have the right keywords. And keyword search research isn't even that difficult. I have a video on keyword research, so you guys can check that out. And then how to actually set up an ad, it's right there. I think it's very simple. If you guys need help, or if you wanna partner with us, our Google Ads agency, we can help you guys if you're a cleaning business. There will be a link below. You guys can check that out, fill it out. If not, I have a whole playlist on just Google Ads and setting everything up, different videos, so you guys can do your keyword research, set everything up step by step, and start converting right away, making sure you get tracking and watch it print leads, exactly what we do for our clients. So again, if you guys are interested, fill out that application below. If you are a cleaning business and we can help you, great, we'll partner together. If not, we'll at least send you resources. Thank you guys for staying until the end. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, God bless you, bye-bye.